Now that we've gotten to know our way around the Envy, let's take a quick look at how to customize the actions assigned to each button on the remote. This will come in handy as we progress through these lessons. These assignable actions include toggling features on and off, such as motion AI and nonlinear stretch, recalling profiles, accessing test patterns, and much more. Let's dig in. The first setting is the remote control version. You shouldn't need to change this, as Zambi will automatically detect which remote control you're using, whether that's the RC1 that came with the MB Mark 1 or the RC2 backlit remote control that comes with the Mark 2. This menu is organized a bit differently for the RC1 versus the RC2 options, as you see shown here, but the inner workings are the same. As a quick tip, when you're getting up to speed with the MV, it's really handy in the beginning to pull up this menu and see what all the button assignments are. This is a great quick reference so you don't have to memorize the assignments or look them up in a guide. As you can see, the menu options are grouped by button press assignments and button hold assignments. A press is just a quick click of a button, whereas a hold is a press and hold for about a second. The assignments on your MV may not match what you see here, and we encourage you to customize these assignments over time for what you find to be the most useful. As we scroll down, we can see all the quick press button assignments, and when we get to the bottom, the view changes to show all the press and hold assignments. To demonstrate, let's look at the available actions that can be assigned to the power button. Here you can see all the possible assignments. We'll discuss these in an upcoming lesson. For now, the important takeaway is that the assignable actions are specific to this button. Likewise, let's take a look at the options available for the red button. As you can see here, the choices are much different. Please note that some functions are only available under specific colored keys. For instance, toggling motion AI is available for red but not for green. That said, the most powerful and flexible action is to activate a profile using any colored button. This way, you can set a profile to do anything you want and then simply recall that profile using the assigned button press. For instance, I have a custom profile group I created on this Envy called Sharpening, which has a customized setting for low and high modes. Let's assign the low mode to the red circle for press and hold. Do this by choosing Activate Profile and then selecting Sharpening from the Profile group and then selecting Low. By the way, you might have noticed that I moved more quickly to the bottom of the menu by scrolling up from the top item. That's just a little trick I wanted to share with you to help you navigate the menus more quickly. Now, let's also do the same assignment for Green, Press and Hold, except we'll tie this to the high setting. Finally, as we learned earlier, these changes are only temporary. If we want to make them permanent, we have to save them to the base layer or to a profile. We hope you enjoyed this overview on how to customize the remote control buttons. Now, let's get on to the next lesson.